Welcome back to another Boatwork video. This week, I get a not-so-smelly mattress. We share how much our showers have improved since our last boat, and Dad fixes some fuel problems. And a little bit more. So come on, let's go see what we get up to. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. So like Bella has mentioned in uh, some other videos, her mattress that was in her room absolutely reeked of cigarette smoke. And, uh, you know, we tried to do all the things, but we got given some mattresses today from another boat that's moving off their boat. So Bella's gonna finally not have a smelly mattress. So we're just uh, doing a template from the old foam to the new foam. She's a teenager and all, she could be in a room smoking. Nah. Let's put Bella off just smoking ever she doesn't like the smell at all and i just threw the covers out and they were Ugh, putrid um but yeah bella's just cutting it all out now we'll go see what she's doing just yeah. take your time make sure you're vertical don't judge my cutting people <laughs> you're doing a really good job it's like so satisfying it really just like yeah it's like fill it in a fish guys don't pull on it too much i'll be getting like a custom mattress soon but this will do for the time being, oh nice. Just go. Even... I thought we were making cups. Hold that bell. Hold that up for me, don't like. Like teamwork just makes the dream work. Oh wow, look at this. He's getting better. Yes. Once you put this in your room, um, if that's too tight we can cut an angle on that and we can go along that way and just cut. Yeah. You know what I mean? I can probably right. let's see how this bed is going. All right. Oh, what? My goodness. It's a latex topper here, ladies and gentlemen. So people prior to us taking over the boat obviously smoked in the room and Bella's had a stinky old mattress. Um, we've met another family um, on the dock here. They had some mattresses and toppers and we've managed to cut them down a little bit funky wise. They gave us rolls of latex. This bit was a little bit thicker. And this bit was a bit thinner, but we've sort of, the mattresses come with sort of like a topping on them. So I've cut the topping off to match the thicknesses. And we're gonna glue this together, but for now, Bella has a latex bed. <laughs> yeah, so. Thanks, iron calculus. So Bella no longer has smelly sheets, yeah, has so a smelly soft. room. This was like and our latex. And it's gonna be comfy. That'll okay. do. It's a temporary fix until we continue our a boat mattress renovations throughout. Tonight, Dad and I are installing Mum and Dad's shower. So oh, the sump pump and a new shower head and the line that runs from the shower. Yes! All right, so what we're going to add to our shower, we have these water bottles that we got given back in San Diego. It was a little while ago and we haven't put them on any of our videos. They're on our website, link down below. But I'm going to explain what this is because we're going to put something onto our shower, which is pretty cool. It's called Hydrogen Health and it's a filter that goes onto your shower and it is a 15 stage filtration system plus vitamin C. So what it's supposed to do, guys, is the benefits of this thing are skin health. It's also antioxidant water, so it repairs, rejuvenates, and regenerates. Anti-allergy, so if you suffer from dandruff or eczema, this is helpful. It boosts hair skin growth, restores skin, hair, and nails. So we actually got given these. We aren't getting paid to say this. When you live on a boat, we use a water maker, which means it's desalinated water, which we make our water from salt water, so from the ocean. So what this desalinator actually does, it takes everything out, it takes all the salt, it takes all the minerals, it takes everything out. So you are pretty much left with comparison to dead water. So there's nothing in the water. By adding something like this to your shower head and to a drink bottle, you are being able to supplement and put minerals back into your body and your skin. And so you look radiant and glowing. All those benefits sound pretty great to me. This is what it looks like here. And Lee is going to put it on to our shower. And we are going to share whether or not we feel any benefits from this. Um, 
it the the idea the concept sounds fantastic it's something that i am very into i love health and all the things i will try anything that is good for me so i'm gonna try this we are going to have a shower finally in the aft cabin you want to show us how the shower works we don't have an internal shower on Catalpa. we do all our showering in the cockpit um, that seems to work quite alright for us in the remote places but today at the bottom of uh, the volcano here at the Bandar Islands we've got a little village so there's a fair few people around and Sarah's up top now taking a shower so best I'll just take you up and I'll show you how she does it. Hello sweetheart. <laughs> I'm so spoiled now. I have my own shower and a bathroom. All right, there's no, there's no need to wonder what he's up to today. He's definitely plumbing. <laughs> oh, what are you doing in there, baby? Plumbing something. I'm plumbing our shower up. Using another whale I see. This one's going to be accessible. I still, don't judge me. I've still got a lot of cleaning up to do here. A lot of cable management, a lot of pipe management. And there was our water pump in the distance over there and followed by our shower sump pump. And that's what I'm uh, plumbing up now. So this one's in a lot better position. Um, some people say every three, four, five months, they just unscrew this and give the sensor a wipe. So by the time I'm finished here, this will be a nice little area to access to give it a little clean when needed. Perfect. Very excited to have two showers operational. Well, we did start to plumb. I've actually got a line running from our shower all the way down to the kids one because we didn't have the funds to get another pump at the time so i thought well i'll just run two two showers into the one pump now we've got a pump for each shower which is good because it's redundant see if we lose a shower still got one we've still got one that's great so i'll yeah. leave you to it honey whale pump is in i just had a warm shower in our bathroom which was very nice please gonna explain what he did plumbed in next to our uh, main water pump come with terminals on there that were actually weren't even tinned wire so wire what are you thinking it's not even a tin connection so i put new connections on anyway and we wired it up over to here i like having these little terminal blocks because it just makes replacing or servicing or anything just really quick and easy to undo but yeah replace those anyway with the uh, heat shrink ones just keeps everything sealed up a little bit better you know you could get a little bit of splash when you're cleaning your filter out or happy wife happy life she's got a shower guys woohoo <laughs> hey so happy it's only been six months <laughs> been a few other priorities in between that yeah it wasn't a big one but it's nice very nice took up most of my day though but that's good won't be so smelly now <laughs> me and our water maker is running nicely. It's been non-stop. He's just giving it his all. This is taking a lot longer than we anticipated, but you know what? It's going to be great when it's good once we're done. Yeah. So thank you, honey. All right. We're not giving up. We got to get cleaned up. The boat is turned upside down once again. Four years ago, Lee snuck up on me in the shower, and I'm about to pay him back because he's just in the shower now. And um, yeah, let's go see how we shower on the new Catalpa because Lee's in the shower and he's gonna demonstrate because it's his turn. Babe! Hey, <laughs> what's going on? How's the Come new on. shower? It's um, bit not too bad, but Come on! <laughs> what, don't you like being filmed in the shower? It's a little bit nicer than her and I got filmed in the shower. <laughs> oh well, that's how we shower now on the new boat. It's a little bit more private, unless you get a, someone to bring a camera in, but... <laughs> private? I don't know about that. <laughs> it's super nice, we've got a shower on the inside and it's all plumbed up and he's done a great job and um... Yay! You may be wondering why I'm cutting holes on the side of the cabinet here. We installed a fridge in San Diego and it was just, we threw the fridge in and uh, it was just pretty much, I plugged it in. So today, I've just cut a hole. I actually found this on the boat, so I don't know what it was for or what they wanted it for, but I've cut a hole here. So this now is an air vent to the fridge. So if you're in the tropics and you know anything about refrigeration and you limit the airflow, your fridge just does not work. So I thought, instead of having the problem of our fridge not working, 
I've just put this in here. Also, when we left San Diego, it was just a quick fix. It was, uh, we just plugged it into the uh, 110 house power to one of the power sockets. So I've just wired it up. I actually removed the line from the water maker that we had at the front of the boat and I cut that halfway. So I've got this number eight wire down here, which is perfect because I've used that for the fridge and now we're running that on 12 volt. So it's just a little bit less draw instead of running it through the inverter and then stepping it down to the fridge. So that's what I've been doing. So I've actually just got that plugged in to 110. So I'm going to disconnect that like so. And I had it just coming through where a drawer was. Be zip tied up. We won't be using that. So what I've done is when we're in San Diego, I didn't connect that. There was a negative and a positive here for 12 volt. I just chose to run the 110 because I didn't have to wire anything and we were rushing. But now I've put a little uh, line over to the wall here and uh, that's 8 gauge wire that was off the water maker so that is very sufficient and uh, that's that. These little terminal blocks are great, I use them everywhere because if you need to disconnect anything as opposed to hard wiring anything um, it just works. I use all these too which are they're a bit of overkill they're a little bit dearer but they just stop the moisture from getting in and if there was a spill or a flood or something in the boat you really do protect your wires with the heat shrink terminals so the wire in the fridge guys comes out of here this was the old wire like i said it's an eight gauge for a water maker so it's quite sufficient uh, which is really good for fridges to have a heavier wire because if you do get a low draw they tend to not cool as good um, I just found a switch which I just mounted inside here. The reason I've mounted it in here is I don't want anyone accidentally turning it off on our motherboard. I know where it is, it's a breaker, so if something shorts out I come in here with the fridge and I don't have to worry about anyone on the main board uh, turning it off. That was the theory behind that anyway. And I didn't want to run extra wire and because uh, that's what I had to work with. That's what I've done guys. Look, she's she's looking pretty snazzy. Look, they even put a little plate on here. You can't actually see it. There's actually a plate there so no one crosses the terminals. All right, so Lee has wired up the fridge. It's off at the moment. He's going to turn it on right now. Lights? Nah. I heard, I heard something. Oh no, there is light, sorry. <laughs> I didn't know where I was looking, it's not dark. Shit, what's that? Freaked me out. No lights and you heard something. I'm sorry. Okay, he's drinking. Oh, there's lights! Right. <laughs> I think it's working. Saved the heart attack for later. All right, this is Taj's old mattress base. Uh, we replaced it with a thicker one because we increased his bed area. So we needed a thicker piece, but I thought instead of throwing this out, we've got all this live 110 or 120, whatever you want to call it, here. And I get real nervous when everyone comes in here, if you're rocking or rolling, you accidentally put your hand out there. But uh, yeah, live wires. So I'm gonna cover all this up like so using Taj's bed and then I'm also going to mount on a little whiteboard over the top of it so it's not going to see much there. I can have my maintenance board and then I can cover up that. I've packed all these wires away for now. I've thinned them right out. I no doubt I'm going to thin more out. Clean up all the terminals, get all, that all cleaned up. But that's a rainy day job at an anchorage. Um, that can all be covered up for now and that's a job when I've got nothing else to do. There's always something to do on a boat. But for now, I just want to get this on and so we can get back up to San Diego and focus on a few uh, a few more important projects. Oh, look at it, look at it! Are you going to kill some bugs in oh, here? Oh, look at the whiteboard even. <laughs> I need See? that for the sea of Look at that wall though, huh, huh, huh?
Guys, it's sad, but when we bought the boat, we were a bit excited when we uh, moved the mirror and there was a washing machine here, but it self fills, the rubbers are cracked. Yeah, there's a lot going on that I don't think it's worth putting energy into such an old unit. So it's gonna come out. We've got bins here while we're at the marina. We'll reassess this at a later date. I suppose once we get sick of washing clothes again in a bucket, we might uh, try and get a washing machine. It's officially out of the boat. Cool, what we got there, darling? So what's happened is Lee is repolishing. He's polishing our fuel um, on our own because we can't afford to get someone else to do it. So he set up a system. That's like really bad. Yeah. Well, I gather it's moving enough fuel. There was a generator in this boat and it had a, obviously two lines, a fuel intake and a return line. Uh, I took the return line. I didn't want to take the inlet line because I didn't want this going through the pump. So just on the return line, before it goes into the tank, I just put a little electric pump and now it's sucking what the motor would suck. So the motor would generally suck up the fuel to the tank and it would go into the engine and stop. So now it comes up from the tank, goes into here, and this is just a return line. So it's just going back into the tank. It's just circulating. So I intend to just run this until the fuel's clean. I'll have to keep obviously emptying this. I suppose it's sort of like uh, polishing our fuel. So I've got a, if this, I'm going to see how the quantity of to me, that just looks like straight water. I'm just hoping, I'll wait till tomorrow and I've got some light and I will check our seal on the diesel tank. To me, I can't see how we can have that much. But anyway, after the run down, the tank could have settled. Hopefully this is the lowest point that it's taking it from and maybe we can polish it. But if we start to get liters, liters of water, I'm going to be very concerned that we've got a leak in our O-ring on the uh, fill side of things on the deck. So, yeah, that's going to be the next one to clean up. There's just a million things to get around on this boat, and that's one of them. What we worked out is there's a lot of water in the fuel, and Lee being the kind of smart guy that he is, he uh, put two and two together and went, hey, We've had a lot of rain lately. Maybe the water is coming from where we put the diesel into the boat. It's in poor shape. I think we'll actually have to replace this. It's very corroded. I'm gonna clean it up with a wire brush. Let's see what it looks like. wraps up our boat jobs here in Mexico. Our fuel is clean and we have decided to sail back up to San Diego to finish getting Catalpa 2 ready to sail some oceans.